guys, welcome to this episode of Sexy and Senile. He's a paid extra. So if you couldn't tell, I'm actually not a method voice actor. I am, in fact, sick. And no, I'm not cosplaying as serious from the Harry Potter franchise. I just haven't brushed my hair. So I had originally had this plan for this week's video to be my AMC routine because for those who are loyal fans, you will know that I am an AMC's A-list channel member. Bad and booze, bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. Now, if I feel better, probably by Sunday, I will go and return to my home away from home. But as it stands, I'm sick and I really shouldn't be going anywhere for the health and well-being of myself and others. So, um, we're going to be just adventuring in the great, the great plains of my California apartment. And no, I will not force you to watch through a cheesy montage of my self-care. Because, personally, can't stand them. No hate to anyone involved. I just don't like seeing the parade of the Olay moisturizing creams. Well, you can just call me a hypocrite because after complaining about the Ole moisturizers, I thought, you know what's entertaining? Showing these people of America what's on my laptop. Anyways. First thing we have is this neuroscience lab. I am going to block most of what it says out because teachers have like intellectual copyright and I'm really not looking to get sued by the school. I don't think they would sue me. The next tab you will see, this is a King Henry VIII impersonator that I discovered yesterday in religions class. Don't know how I discovered, but I just think this is so cool. Sometimes when I'm bored in school, I like to look up history impersonators and or when they do facial recreations of dead people like King Tut. And is this not so cool? This guy is literally my hero. I would hire this man for my wedding. I would hire him to speak at my graduation. I just think it's amazing. Next thing, Barry Keegan. Um, love, love Barry Keegan. First of all, I'm Irish. He's Irish. Irish pride. You know I was sick as the Bustopher Destopher that whole day, so nothing else got recorded. And here's what my Saturday looked like. How's this for a change of scenery? I'm just kidding. You see this every video. I got a diet pesky because love. Got these new flowers. Amazon Fresh has the best flowers. My ones from Trader Joe's died within, God, what, four or five days. My Aldi ones died within literally 48 hours. These last at least two. I've had some last three and a half, so they're really good. In case you want in my opinion. Then I got Mucinex. But I'm very disappointed with the Mucinex company. Because listen, I don't have my MBA. But life was better when Mucinex man was at the front and center. And I feel like they've removed him. They've stripped Mr. Mucinex off of his own company. That's frustrating. I was at the Barnes & Noble for two whole hours. And... I feel ready to shrivel up, but I'm hungry for breakfast, so I'm going home. Hello, children of the earth. Um, I'm back. I understand constitutionally there's a problem with these videos, which is that I feel like I never go anywhere. Like, I will sit in my car and talk to you. I will sit on my carpet and talk to you, but I never show you the scenery. Well, sexy and senile viewers, my loyal fans, that's to change. I mean, maybe not this video, but definitely the next one. Um, right now, I'm going to the gym. If there's nobody in the cardio cinema, I might have to give you a little tour. But one of my pet peeves is people who film in the gym because they just always have to have the god complex of a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade blimp. And I don't love that. But you know what? I will start showing you what's going on. Update on my fungus. We're pretty 
pretty good. It's literally just this thumb and the fungus is dead. It just needs to grow. At five below, there's so much to do. Running from toddlers. Looking for boy band posters. Acting like a QVC salesperson. I love five below. Duncan has a free coffee with any purchase, meaning that you can purchase one dollars munchkins and get a four dollar coffee. The more you know. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I forgot my munchkins. Okay. Turns out they didn't even have them like made, which is not a big deal because respectfully if you ask me what was on my hierarchy of importance my tiers of needs munchkins would be at the bottom so this not dazzling me because the cold foam the cold foam looks like the polar ice caps but listen for 99 cents i can go home and put some creamer in this i got munchkins Hey guys, I think it's time I made a really formal and sincere apology. I know that my sideburns make me look like the Pringles man. And you know what? There's nothing I can do. So you're gonna have to deal with it. So really there's no apology. Other fun thing I videotaped today was fixing my hair because it was very much resembling founding father energy. All right, it is time for a very sexy and senile weekly photo recap. So this is me at Paris Fashion Week last week. You actually didn't see me in all the press photos because I made the paparazzi and celebrities sign an NDA because I'm a superstar. This is the time I walked Bruno with a face mask on at 9 p.m. looking like Michelle Myers, only to run into darn near the whole unit. This is me smiling because the gym employee I have a crush on, who kind of looks like the way the Catholic people paint Jesus, he smiled at me. This is Bruno when I told him he needed to wash his paws off. This is Bruno being an angel. These are nice pictures I've taken recently because I've tried to be better at documenting self-love. Yes, I know that sounds cheesy, but let me have my I peaked in high school moment. Thank you. And with that being said, Sexy and Senile, signing off.